everyone! Welcome to my final pixie cut growth update. This will be my last because usually people end up stopping at two years anyways, at least from what I've seen in the Growing Out Your Pixie series, the other ones that I've seen around YouTube. And then also, today is Thursday and tomorrow, Friday night, I will be getting my hair cut and I will be cutting off a pretty significant amount of hair. I will not be getting a pixie. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. I don't know if really I'll ever go back to a pixie because I had it just for so long, but um, I will be chopping it off and it will be considered short hair. So anyways, yeah. This is my hair grown out two years uh, from a very, very, very short pixie cut. It was basically growing it out from uh, having like a buzz cut because I had one side buzzed and then I had to get the other side cut that length and then start growing it out. So your hair may be a little bit longer than mine if you just had a regular pixie, but I was growing it out from buzzed. So that was a bit difficult. And then also I have gotten trims along the way. I always kept it maintained. I never just like really just let it grow. I was always getting the back cut off or whatever, keeping that mullet in check. But anyways, this is pretty long. This is the longest my hair has been I, in probably like six or seven years. Something crazy like that. I don't know. This definitely feels long to me. And I have really, really, really been enjoying it. I... Um, you know, I probably will miss it a little bit when I, when I cut off my hair, but, um, from what I'm gonna get, growing it out longer, like, to this length again, um, won't really take that long. I don't know, it's not, like, as big of a journey as growing it out from a pixie cut, so I'm not too worried about it, and I'm pretty excited. Okay, well, I should probably just show you. This is how long my hair is. Yeah, it comes down to right at my boobs basically. Yeah, this is the side. And then I'll just show you how far it goes down my back. I don't know how far that is, but it goes down that far. I never really did anything special other than just keeping it trimmed to maintain some kind of like shape to it or whatever. I took biotin and like prenatal vitamins for a little bit, but um, I was I never kept up with it, so I never took them longer than like maybe a week. So basically I did nothing. This is just growing it out. Once you really get to like a semi kind of like bob haircut, maybe at like six months or something, um, it's smooth sailing from there. And from there you just grow it out and you just enjoy whatever length it's at and that's really all. All of my tips I've already shared with you guys and it's basically from starting where you're at your pixie cut to six months. Those are when you need all those tips where you need hair accessories and keep that mullet in check and all that crazy stuff. That's really like the hardest part is the first six months. But after that, once you're at like a bob and your layers are mostly grown out at the same length, they're just not so like choppy or whatever. It's really quite easy and all you do is just grow your hair. You just wait, basically. It's just a huge waiting game. I never really had um, like a goal length in mind, which is why I'm getting it cut because I, I think I've kind of reached where I wanted to get and I'll probably cut it and maybe keep the length that I'm getting for a little bit and then I'll grow it out again. I don't really know, so we'll see. If you guys are just starting your pixie cut growing out your pixie cut, starting out the journey of, of that. Um, I know that this length may seem like it's really far away, but honestly, time flies. Just live your life. Don't focus too much on it. And I can't even believe it's been two years. Like, time just flies. It really, really does. And you'll have longer hair uh, before you know it. So just really don't get too down about it. Don't <laughs> fight the urge to cut it if you... Um, really do want long hair and you're only cutting it because you can't deal with like the growing out process just don't cut it just don't I feel like this is such a mess of a video but I've just said everything that I need to say I've already given all my tips and everything you know post up pictures of how you want your hair to keep you going use hair accessories hats while it's winter and just hang in there and that's really all my tips but this is my hair at two years and I'm just going to end this video with thank you guys so much for, you know, following my pixie grow out, 
growing out my pixie cut journey. I know that a lot of my subscribers found me through pixie cut videos and stuck with me and thank you guys so much for sticking with me and I hope you guys won't leave me now that my you know hair updates are over or now that I'm chopping it off but um yeah just Thanks so much and I hope I helped a little bit. I hope you guys reach your hair goal soon and uh, yeah anyways thank you guys for watching. This is my hair. Two years. We did it. I am officially done with growing out my pixie now. I just have hair. <laughs> Please like this video if you guys have liked um, watching me grow out my pixie cut I guess. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear about how your journey went or how your journey is going. Check out the down bar for my Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Snapchat and all that good stuff. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying these types of videos. I'll see you guys in just another video. <laughs> Bye!